work for all Californians. Hi, I'm David Simpson. When you shop at Simpson Chevrolet, you always get more. Year-end savings start now on the best selection of new 2022 Silverados in Orange County. Choose from over 150 new 2022 Silverados, including 1500, 2500 HD, 3500 HD, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Plus, get $500 Chevy Cybercash on select new 2022 and 2023 models. At family-owned Simpson Chevrolet, we're big enough to deal, small enough to care. Happy Holidays! Hi, this is Ellen Kay, and Coast 103.5 is your home for the holidays with non-stop holiday music. Helping you feel good with the best mix of holiday classics and today's favorites. Plus, listen weekdays to win passes inside the exclusive Coast Holiday Party at Disney's California Adventure Park, your official holiday music station. Feel good for the holidays. Coast 103.5. From the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. Now at 6, gunfire in a Covina neighborhood, a woman shot by deputies. Well, good Saturday evening. I'm Leslie Marine. And I'm Tom Wait. Tonight, a witness says the woman was vandalizing cars and buildings in the community before she turned on the deputy. CBS 2's Lauren Posen live in Covina tonight with what authorities are saying, Lauren. Well, Leslie, investigators are still here collecting evidence and deputies have this perimeter blocked off. It's a pretty large area. In fact, this is as close as we can take you because deputies have it blocked off for about a half a mile, almost near where the train tracks are. This is on Vincent and Cypress Street. And within the last half hour, I spoke with deputies and they told me you can expect this area to be blocked off through the night or at least until investigators wrap up this part of their investigation here. Now I want to show you some video from earlier today. This happened just after 10 o'clock this morning and I want you to look closely at your screen. You can see there's some sort of heavy metal object in the middle of the road there. It's really hard to make out exactly what it is, but witnesses we spoke with told us that the suspect, a woman, was using it to smash out windows of cars, both parked and driving by, and also tried to smash um, an officer off his motorcycle with it. Now, one witness also told us that she saw the woman with this metal object in her hand go towards deputies when they got here. She said she heard them say stop, but the woman didn't, and that's... To oncoming traffic, we're trying to avoid hitting her at the same time, so this is pretty dangerous. And paramedics took the woman to the hospital. I asked deputies if there's an update on her condition. They don't have one yet. And again, you can expect this area to be blocked off at least through the night or until investigators wrap up their case here. Reporting live in Covina, Lauren Posen, CBS 2 News. Lauren, thank you. A dark turn in a triple homicide investigation in Riverside. Tonight, officials say the man suspected of killing three people was killed by deputies during a shootout in the Mojave Desert. This all started yesterday when the bodies of a man and two women were found inside a burning home in Riverside. Neighbors reported a man and woman fighting outside that home earlier in the day, and the victims, they have not been identified yet. But Riverside police say there's clear evidence they did not die from that fire. We also know a young woman was in the car with that suspect during a pursuit. She is now with law enforcement, but it's still unclear her involvement in this case.